Props and costumes. Welcome to Homemade How To, where we show you how to make props and costumes with just stuff from around the house. We are gearing up to make a homemade Batman versus Superman trailer. And so mm -hmm. we're going to show you guys how to make the really awesome Batman mecha armor. Yeah, and so the helmet, we're actually going to make the whole thing out of cardboard. Mm -hmm. So. Let's get started. Let's do it. So we need to figure out the basic shapes of this helmet. So what we did was we started off by making a much smaller scale mm -hmm. using just some paper stock so we can create our templates. And you can check out all these templates on our Facebook page, Homemade Movies Cinefix. So we need to measure out your head. So take off your hat if you're wearing one. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> we're just gonna use a rope. You could use a string as well. Um, and we're gonna measure from the tip of your nose, run that all the way around to the back to the base of the skull. Let's see how big my head is. 19, 19 inches. inches. That's not that bad. That's gonna be the measurement for our front piece. Mm -hmm. Adjust the size of these images. Mine was 180%. When you're ready to print it out, change your printer settings to that same percentage. And every template gets the same percentage increase. So here we have our big templates. And to transfer the templates, we're using a piece of charcoal pencil, or you can just use a regular number two pencil. Mm -hmm. We'll flip over our template, shade along the lines of the template. So here we have our completed charcoal backside of the template. Mm -hmm. Lay it down flat so that the lines are facing you. Tape the edges to the cardboard. Trace the templates with a pen or a number two pencil along the lines. The pressure from the pen is transferring the charcoal that's on the back side of the paper onto the piece of cardboard. And make sure you label these so that you know which pieces are what. Use thinner cardboard for the eye inserts and the nose pieces. So here are all of our Batman helmet pieces. Mm -hmm. It's like a 3D Batman puzzle. Let's put this thing together. <laughs> First, bend the front piece along the corrugation, but don't bend the ear pieces. And glue the side pieces to kind of the temples of the front piece. Glue the cheek part to the side pieces. For the mouthpiece, we need to gauge how far down to attach to the rest of the helmet. So we're gonna use actually the lower back piece, which is this piece that has kind of an angle to it. You'll notice that there is kind of a gap between the two pieces. So eyeball that, it's kind of a half inch gap. Then you can attach the mouthpiece to the inside of the helmet. Then glue the other side. Then go to the top of the helmet and glue the ear pieces down. Bend the back of the mouthpiece around to the back of the helmet. Then bend the back side pieces along the corrugation and attach the back side pieces, starting with the top of the ears. Glue the back of the helmet closed. Glue the flap from the front piece all the way to the back of the helmet. And then attach the lower back piece to the very back of the helmet. This kind of goes over all of our other pieces. Bend each side around to attach it to the side of the helmet. Next, attach the inside ear pieces, then the ear tops. Now for the nose pieces, it helps to trace a guide so you know where to put the glue. And when you attach these, make sure you put them at an angle to create the nose. Now you could stop here and just go right to the spray paint stage, but I like to cover all of the seams with gaff tape. Gaff tape is a very versatile cloth tape. So here you have it our almost finished mm -hmm. Batman helmet. And so the helmet, it's not exactly like pristine. It's definitely kind of beat up, just distressed. So we're just gonna kind of scuff it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I think we're ready to spray paint it. You, me, outside. <laughs> so first add a layer of gray primer, then cover the entire thing with metallic silver spray paint. And finally, we're gonna use a really simple, but it's a really awesome technique to create the worn steel look. Spray paint some black, and then crumble up a plastic bag and push that into the spray paint and just sort of dab it in and work the texture around so you can get that steel worn look. And then these eye inserts are gonna be the only pieces that are gonna be solid black, so spray paint those separately. So here's the helmet, looking pretty rad, nice and painted. But before we put on any of the details, we're gonna move on to the body. That's right, we've got 
pretty much mostly Tupperware. So yeah. we've got small pieces. Smaller pieces. Some, uh, what is this, a sand bucket? Yeah, sand bucket, sand scoops. Mm -hmm. Water jugs. And a dump truck. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna actually be letting some of this stuff just remain Tupperware, like the shoulders. Make just the cutout segment for the arm to fit into. For the forearm, we're using our little waste basket, some Tupperware, a strip of cardboard, and some belts. So first step is we're gonna cut off the bottom of the small Tupperware. So there are some segments that are raised up off of this arm piece. To create those segments, we'll take a small strip of cardboard, cover it with a bit of gaff tape, fit it around the smaller end. The segment with the cardboard is gonna have a belt that wraps around, and then there's two other belts that are gonna wrap around towards the other end. All right, so now we're gonna do the upper part of the forearm. We're gonna use a ch little trash can that we have. It starts off just below the elbow, and then it tapers up about halfway and then continues all the way around. We are going to use the bottom of the forearm. We're gonna trace that to the bottom of the trash can and then cut that hole out. Now cut out the rest of the shape from the trash can. There is a lip around the top of this trash can, so use cardboard, glue that onto the edge of the trash can all the way around just to create that lip. We're adding some details with gaff tape and I'm adding some washers because there are little rivets in there. Now the bottom piece fits right into the top piece. And glue that in, and then on the inside, use some glue and duct tape to reinforce it. Now for the legs, cut holes in the bottoms of the Tupperware containers, and then hot glue those two containers together and reinforce it with a little bit of gaff tape or duct tape. And then trace a circle on the bottom of the sand bucket and cut a hole in the sand bucket. You can go ahead and attach the sand bucket to the Tupperware and check out your reference photo to cut the top part of the leg. All right, here are the lower legs. So we're ready to move on to the thighs. For the top of the thigh, use a large Tupperware. Cut the bottom of the large Tupperware out. Take the rest of the sand bucket, trim off the tabs, cut the bucket down a seam and fold it around so that it fits inside of the larger Tupperware container. And then there is a indent to make room for the thigh so that you can move the leg around. For the chest piece, the main piece is gonna be cardboard. So first thing, figure out where that neck is. There is a specific shape with two shoulder straps that stick up and then it tapers down and then the rest of that wraps around the back. This ribbed water bottle is really good for kind of the base of the abs. Make use of the corners of the milk jugs. They have a really good shape to them for these ab pieces. And then just glue um, all the abs down the chest piece. For the upper portion of the chest piece, you're gonna need some cardboard and it's got sort of a diamond shape cut out triangular shapes, hot glue them to the back of the chest piece. Glue the sides on. And then glue the tops on. Bianca's gonna wear this because we're gonna do the collar which goes around the back of the head. So we've got the chest piece and it looks really great. Mm -hmm. And Batman has these really cool hooks that attach to the cape and that attaches to the chest yeah, piece. Yeah, it looks so. like he can take the cape on and off. And for that, we're gonna utilize our luggage straps. Yep, attach one end of the clip right onto the chest piece and then the other end is gonna go on the cape. That way we can pop the cape on and off. And the cape is a little bit more of a rugged material. Mm -hmm. So we found this black canvas. For the belt, we have a regular belt, as well as small Tupperware containers, and a rectangular Tupperware container. Cut the bottom off the rectangular Tupperware container, hot glue that to the belt, reinforce it with tape. We hot glued the tops of the small Tupperware containers on, and then hot glue two storage containers on each side of the rectangular piece. For the gloves, use a pair of black fabric gloves. The top of the hand has sort of a metal plate. And for that, use the sand shovels that we just so happen to get with our sand buckets. For the thumbs, grab a large chip clip, break it open, and hot glue that to the thumb. The fingers all have little plates over them. We found these tiny clips that are pretty awesome. We're taking these apart and gluing those right onto each of the digits.
For the shoes, use a larger Tupperware container. It has a nice boxy shape to it. Cut out a segment for the foot to fit into and to leave some room for the leg. And then attach elastic around the back so that it will hold on to a shoe. There is kind of a metal strip along the top, so use a piece of cardboard and attach that to the tops. And there you have it. We are ready to put this whole thing together. And so for the base, we are using an old winter coat and then a pair of like snow pants. Yeah, that thing's cool. <laughs> like, <"Bruh." laughs> so, what are we gonna spray paint this? Yeah, let's spray paint it. All right, let's, let's take do it outside. It. The painting stage is the crucial step in making this look like a steel suit of armor. Okay, we have one last detail for the helmet, and that is the eyes, which are kind of a light blue, and they light up. We're using a transparent divider, as well as some small LED clip lights. We're going to attach the transparency to the eye insert pieces. Take your LED lights and a little bit of tape, adhering it to the inside of the helmet. Sweet. Sweet, sweet. <laughs> Even the camera guy is excited. <laughs> Okay, here we are. Yeah. Finished, all painted. Got all the details awesome. on, looks really great. Ready to go fight Superman now? <laughs> the paint really makes it come together. It looks like brushed steel. It's yeah, great. it's really crazy good. how how simple that mm -hmm. technique was, mm -hmm. too. Going down, Superman. And that's how you make a homemade Batman mecha armor suit. That's right, make sure to check us out on Facebook because you can download the templates to make this costume yourself. We're also on Instagram and Twitter. And be sure to come back in two weeks because we're gonna be using this suit in our Batman vs. Superman trailer. So you wanna subscribe to Cinefix. Robot! <laughs>